Hey guys, so it's the five here with episode number 25 of the Crystal Palace Grow Mode on FIFA 23. Kicking it off, round six. Pretty sure the quarterfinals of the FA Cup. We're taking on Leeds. So, so far, we've had Spurs, United, Sunderland, now Leeds. Could this be our chance to get to the semi final? Could we? find our first piece of silverware in the form of the FA Cup. Got to think so. I think it's the most likely piece of silverware that we're going to win. Obviously, the league's out of our hands this season. We're out of the Carabao Cup. So, this season is the only competition we really have a chance in. And actually, when you have... Uh, well, I've had a look at some of the teams that are left in it. And there's ourselves, Leeds, Peterborough still in here. Liverpool are the only top six team left in this competition so that's a good sign for ourselves the rest is kind of lower premier league there's some championships like i said peterborough are still in and this is surely surely our best opportunity we've taken liverpool right to the very edge a few times now most recently a 4-4 result there's a real chance i, I, I absolutely believe if we get to the final and if we have to face Liverpool, hopefully they get knocked out, then I think we can win it. But we are looking maybe a bit too far forward because in the 104th minute, this game is still tied at 0-0. Leeds have a corner. We get it away eventually. And this game will be going to dreaded penalties. Thankfully, we're at Selhurst Park with the home advantage for this one. We're kicking in towards our fans. And Edward steps up first. His is saved. Robert's up next. His is saved. You gotta hope. You know, obviously Dean Henderson scored. Um, sorry, saved Bamford's penalty in regular time. The only reason we are still in this game is because Dean Henderson saved Bamford's penalty. Will he do the same this time? Not quite. One apiece after two taken. Joel Aribo steps up next. What will he do against Clarsen? Lovely kind of finish there into the top left-hand corner. Aronson up next. What's he thinking? He's thinking cheeky chip down the middle. Consecutive penalties for both teams have been scored. Harvey Vale, the youngster, up next. Straight down the middle. No cheekiness, no chips there. Just straight power down the middle. Helder Costa. He liked what he saw from Aronson. He tried the same. We have to score this one with Connor Cody. He's got a decent penalty on him. Where's he going? He's going that top right corner. Beautiful placement from our scouse centre back. And up next, Sinstera. Saved by Dean Henderson. 4 3 on penalty shootouts. Henderson, the saviour. He saved Bamford's penalty in regular time. Kept us in this game. And then he saved two penalties in the shootout to secure our place in the semi final. Where we will face Brentford. Wembley trip. Brentford in the semi-finals. The other one is going to be Liverpool and Peter Peterborough. Like I said. Praying for a miracle that Peterborough somehow beat Liverpool in this one. And then obviously we've got to beat Brentford. They've 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 beat us a few times in this Grimmet, but by no means is it the easiest game that we can play in this competition. I definitely think we have to be second favourites behind Liverpool, surely. The form we're in, the players we've got, yes, we've lost Eze, yes, we lost Martial, both of which were seven months in the previous episode, but, you know, our man Fletcher has been insane. Edouard has been just as good. Lost his cheek. I mentioned in the previous episode how after his ACO injury, he didn't come back the same. I was waffling. He just wasn't playing as much. When he plays, he gets goals. He gets assists. And now that he's back in the first team, he's proven exactly that. As Lucas Moura in this one does put Spurs 1-0 to the good. Not what you want, but he does go from hero to villain. In the 11th minute, after scoring a really nice goal past Dean Henderson, the Brazilian is given a straight red card. 10 men to Spurs for 80 minutes of this game. I mean, if we don't score in this one, it uh, is embarrassing. Basically, it was very, very embarrassing. As Loftus-Cheek, lovely little play with him and Fletcher here. 
trying to find some space, but Christian Romero is just not giving him an inch. As Elise, to Loftus Cheek, to Fletcher. Fletcher strikes from range. Hits the post in the process. We've got them on strings. They cannot handle us physically, technically. I think we have the better players. Obviously, they have the best player on the kit pitch in Harry Kane and Huang Min Son. But everyone else, I'd say we have some of the best. As Fletcher steps up once again, scores against Spurs. Once again, he makes it 1-1. And he is a perfect replacement for Anthony Martial. Should he... Obviously, we can play him here for the rest of this season. We can play him here till Anthony Martial gets fit again next season. Then we could just simply put him back in centre mid. And... It's, it's, it's so, it's, he is so good, though. I think he's coming up on almost 20 goals this season. I think he's maybe one or two off. Of that landmark. Really, really, really good though. From the youngster in his second season. His first season as a member of the starting lineup. For most games he's got a chance here to make it 2-1. And he does exactly that. Second goal of the game. He's on for the hat-trick. He has perfectly replaced Martial in this starting lineup. He's not let the goals drop. He has not let the performances drop. He has continued from where Martial left off. And maybe even added some. Because of the fact that we have allowed Loftus-Cheek back into this lineup. As he has a chance to get his hat-trick in the 60th minute. Doesn't quite work out that way. And it's still 2-1. Five minutes later. Another chance coming from this right-hand side. Alise tinks the ball into him. Chests it down. Lays it off to Eduard. To make it 3-0. Throw 3-1. Again. Saved by his fellow countryman Loris. Denied. This time, Riedewald wins the header into the box. Fletcher takes it down. Doesn't quite find its target in Olise. Or Olise. I mean, I mean it's, I've done two seasons and I don't even know if I've been pronouncing his name right. But Sergio Regulon finds Son. Son finds Harry Kane. Gehi not allowing him to put the cross in. He finds Son. Son finds the man in the middle and then eventually it finds its way to Los Celso. And after so, so, so many chances being saved by Lloris, being denied by Romero and Cuartes and Aspilicueta, they get one back. Lo Celso makes it 2-2 in the final, final few minutes of the game. And we drop points in a game I think we should have won. But they're a top six team, like I said before. We don't dally on it. We're still in fifth place in the league. We're still in the Europa League places. It's where they board want us to be. It's where we currently are. Hold on to that place. Things will be fine and dandy. As we come to the final game of today's episode, it is the newly promoted, relegation-threatened Blackburn Rovers in the Premier League. Last time we played them, I think we beat them 3-2. Uh, they were the only newly promoted team we haven't smashed. We smashed Norwich. We smashed Watford twice. Last time around, though, they gave us a bit of a challenge. This time round, hopefully not the same as Wamba on this right hand side whips it in. Loftus Sheet nods it down, and Fletcher is there once again. I think that's three consecutive Premier League games, maybe even four if you can leave the Nottingham Forest one. No, that was the third actually. No, he has scored in four consecutive games, 15 goals in 29 matches, so he is approaching that 20 goal mark very slowly. I would probably assume with two months left in the season. He will get to that 20 goal mark. And I mean it'd be a shame if well not a shame, but if he overtakes Martial, it'd be insane, should I say maybe. Because of how lethal he has been this season. He almost scores a incredible volley. But unfortunately he was deemed to be offside, so that was taken away from him. It's still 1-0 though. And we can't really lie on that. You know, we want more goals, but I'll tell you now, the Blackburn goalkeeper has been insane in this one. But not all things, you know, it's not all about us. Blackburn had a great chance there to make it 1-1. Ruin our parade, back-to-back -back draws would not be the kind of ideal way to kind of come into the final run of the season. As I said, we're into April after this game. So it's kind of the final few games. I think this this might be game number 30 of the season. And with 20 minutes remaining in the game, they make it 1-1. They throw a spanner into the works of us 
getting Europa League football, European football, you know, it's so, so tight. I will, in the next episode, I'll show um, the league table. But it's insane. One loss, you can drop from where we are not right now, fifth. You could drop down to p possibly even eighth. So it is a really, really tight Premier League season. Every point matters. Every game matters. And that's why it was such a big blow when Eze and um, Martial went down. Like I said, though, Fletcher's covered with them perfectly. Loftus-Cheek has as well. Edouard maybe not quite so as much, but Olise has also been brilliant. And speaking of the man, he makes it 2-1. Gets us back in front. And he... He... Ugh, I've said it before, his stats... Goal-wise, are not what I, th I I would want from him. But I think, actually, having looked at his stats, he's very close to actually breaking Henri's assist record. So I'm chatting all this about him not getting the goals. He's the one providing. He's the one getting the assists. And, yeah, he's very close to breaking his fellow countryman's assist record, as in the 88th minute. The ball finds Edouard. Edouard finds Ruben Loftus-Cheek. And, like I said, the man gets goals. The man gets goals from midfield. Number eight, Loftus Cheek. He's not leaving anytime soon. He'll be in the first team plans next season. And it's just whether or not do we keep Fletcher up top, and do we maybe move Martial to a backup? It's it's, it's a possibility. The final chance of the game though is a free kick for them. After that though, the whistle was blown. A three-one victory. Three points coming home. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. We're closing in on the end of the season. If you have enjoyed it though, please like. Subscribe and peace.